If you're looking to buy some ultimate team coins, go check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. All the links are down below in the description box. I use this on code of GC5 to get your 5% discount on all of your orders, guys. They're cheap, reliable, and you get your coins within 60 seconds. What's up guys, g here and welcome to a brand new video and today we've got the silver version of this man Eden Hazard, an incredible player in real life and today I'm going to be showing you the silver version of him on FIFA guys. So if you can have 1,500 likes that would be absolutely awesome and in the comments below let me know what silver version of a player I should do next as last time I've done Dean Marine today we have got the Chelsea wing. Also if you missed my previous video from today I've done an overpowered 25k squad board so go check that out guys. The guy himself though, Majangi Bia, he's a, he's a winger from Belgium which is obviously quite uh, similar, very very similar to Eden Hazard himself and he's also got some very very nice stats on car but the team itself is a 4-3-3 which for me this year is a very very dominant formation in there we have Carasso who, um, who for me honestly he was an okay goalkeeper whereas this team hasn't got many golds in so it kind of evens itself out uh, but he did make a few clangers which is kind of annoying but the right back Mariano he was a gold last year and he was freaking awesome man. he's even better this year for me I'm not sure how but he appears to be a little bit better and then we've got Sané who is at 6 foot 4 he's a monster 71 pace and some nice defending and physical stats and Umboji he's one of my favourite silver defenders he was last year as well he's also 6 foot 4 with 85 physical and a 74 pace for 700 coins that is absolute madness and finally at left back we've got Shimanga who has got 92 pace and uh, a good physical stat on top of that as well. It's called quite a nice goal for me, and he cost me 3.8k. So uh, overall defense is actually quite pacey. I mean... It's got nice work rates as well because the two uh, fullbacks have got medium, medium. And then we've got uh, Mohamed Ziyame, who I have called the Silver Yaya Toure before. And the, this guy is incredible. I got him for 4.4k very, very early on. He's like 20k now. And then we've got Koyate, West Ham's new CDM. And he's an absolute monster as well. Six foot four. This team has got a shit ton of height. I mean, he's quick. And that 86 physical is very, very appealing. And then we've got a Gigi Afoe, a, a player that's been very good since like FIFA 12. I mean, he's actually now currently at Norwich City. So I'm not sure why he's got a club bruised bad. Uh, but nevertheless it's quite good for this team in general and our right wing is going to be Hatem Ben Arthur who is a 5 star skiller and uh, overall I'm, I'm not really a fan of him he scored 3 goals, 3 decent goals as well but he doesn't contribute much else I mean 0 assists in 7 games for a winger is not a good look and Romelo Lukaku this guy is a machine 6 for 3 and 12 goals and 9 assists in them 7 games 9k and um, again 6 for 3 and 84 pace is a ridiculous combination the man himself Majangi Abia this is what I've actually done to him in games to make him play very very well because I noticed uh, it's a about three games to get used to him because he was kind of dropping back really far because he has medium low work rates um he wasn't actually getting forward that was the main case but 12 goals in them seven games is nothing to be ashamed of and uh like i said them them in game changes do work a hell of a treat as he kind of comes into a striker role uh which makes him a lot better and more effective Alternative players then, we've got Mane, the new Southampton signing, and I, I don't know, I'll probably use them instead, but I don't know, I wanted the Belgium link, and uh, these are just alternatives for if you have a BPL silver team or anything like that. Montero is the second one, Scott Sinclair is the third, and Scott Sinclair in this game is absolutely ridiculous, guys. 100% recommend him. And finally, we've got Max Gradle, the former Leeds man, has also got some very, very nice stats. I believe he's got four-star skills as well, and is actually the same height as Hazard. So again, another alternative which you might want to try then. Majangi Bia, um, I think that's how you say his name. He's got four star skill moves, four star weak foot, and his shooting is very, very high as well, which is kind of the thing that pointed me towards him because I mean Hazard in real life has got a very, very nice shot on him and uh, also very quick and very good on the ball uh, and it, it's quite hard to find a silver that fits every single category um, but overall I think it's kind of kind of suited quite well and um, the, the the actual team itself though I think I played seven games in total and actually won all seven but I did mention before it took me about three to four games to actually get used to it because I was winning like one nil two nil um which for me isn't, isn't really good enough for some like some players like this. Uh, you expect a lot more of them, especially some the opponents I came against. I'm not gonna lie, some of them were absolutely awful. Then again, some were actually had full chem goal team. So this is quite a nice goal from the man himself there, uh, dribbling past a few people and then starting at home. But again, th this opponent wasn't fantastic, so I can't really say uh, he's gonna do this every single game. The team itself, I actually build um, teams mainly for uh, single matches because I don't play uh, divisions or seasons, whatever you call it, because seasons is just so stressful and so sweaty. That it does not appeal to me in the slightest midfield is very very strong and uh like i said you've got three absolute monsters in midfield we've got koyate you've got diame and you also got a ggf oh you can't really get much stronger than that they've also got quite a lot of pace between them on top of it medium medium work rates on my full backs my wing backs is uh it's kind of ideal because they're very very quick but it means they're not always going to get forward and uh, this is probably my favorite goal of the team that's an absolute worldie from the man and i'm going to call the silver hazard uh, i'm not going to say his name probably because i keep kind of fucking it up a little bit uh, but that is an incredible strike from a very far distance the final but then Lukaku um 
Lukaku is an absolute brute up front. I mean, the guy is strong as shit, and uh, his left foot is pretty damn good as well, guys. So, coming towards the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, smash 1,500 likes, subscribe for daily 515 content, and also check out my previous video from today in the description below, guys. So, thank you for this video, and I will see you next time.